Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Power Green Software. My name is Gary Greenan, I am a Chartered Quantity Surveyor and I've been using Bluebeam Review for over five years now. We hope you find these videos useful and interesting. And don't forget to click on the link at the very end of each video where you can visit our website and download a full 30 day working trial of Bluebeam Review with no obligations to buy. Okay, this is um, again another little short video. Um, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate to maybe a professional like a QS or a person maybe he's doing estimating on projects who is receiving models in um, uh, Revit or even Navisworks and they'd like to get around the model to get some information out of the model for taking off quantities and for cost planning. I want to demonstrate how well Bluebeam's PDF or 3D PDF compares to a product such as Navisworks QTO and I've got a sample here where I've gone into Revit and I've just used a sample project in Revit and I've exported it into a 3D PDF and in Bluebeam in my model tree I might put this down here let me see whoops put that down there now apologies my computer is running slow because um, it just doesn't like having Navisworks open as well as um, this blue beam. One second now. Yeah, I just paused the video there while I just put that into place because I wanted to show you the the uh, 3D PDF uh, summary bar down the bottom. So look, so there's a model, and I can get around this model, uh, orbiting and zooming in and panning. As, as I would see in maybe Navisworks. Now I'm going to compare this to Navisworks. So, uh, where's my Navisworks? Here it is here. Now, my Navisworks, again, this might be a bit slow on the computer now, but we're going to try our best. So, there's my Navisworks, the same model, which I've opened as an IFC file. And I'm actually just running a, a free version of this Navisworks because um, I'm actually studying how to use it but anyway I want to show how Bluebeam compares to Navisworks that's the main purpose of this video so I've ran uh, the quantity takeoff module in Navisworks the QTO and I've exported it into Excel and I'm gonna just gonna I'm sorry I'm jumping around the screens all the time now but I'm just gonna open up the QTO report in Excel so this when you do the the quantity takeoff module in Navisworks, it shoots out from the model everything that's in the model. And it comes into a spreadsheet with different uh, tabs. And I'm going to concentrate on this tab here with all data. And as you can see, it's taken off the model floor by floor. So I'm looking at here, zero, one entry. And I can see my precast beams. I can see concrete columns. I can see a thing called shade support. I can see the ceilings. I can see basic wall types. And these are all come out of the model. Okay. And if I go along, let's say I pick my ceilings. I've got those highlighted here. If I pick the ceiling here, a uh, level one ceiling, uh, it's a 600 by 600 ceiling. If I go all the way over to the right hand side, I get some quantities and dimensions. And as you can see there, there's the area of that ceiling, which is 41.572 meters squared. Okay. Go back to Revit, uh, back to Bluebeam, and uh, let's compare it. And if we see, we've got our model tree, our model uh, selection tree for our model, which is exactly the same as what's in the IFSC model. It will show you my ceilings, the 600 by 600 grid. It will show you the uh, the areas there. So that's that same ceiling there, which is 42 meters squared, which is obviously rounded up. Now, if I click on my model, and I'll just put this down a bit, I can see 
there's that level one ceiling that we're looking at okay so I'm now doing the exact same thing in blue beam as I would do in Navisworks. Now I'm talking from a point of view as a QS and an estimator. I'm not talking about clash detection or doing scheduling or timelining, things like that. I'm just looking at the model. I want to see what the model's built up of. I want to see some quantities and I want to get some basic ideas of where they are in the model. So I'm just demonstrating here very simple that for buying Bluebeam with the 3D PDF capabilities, you are immediately competing with Navisworks in terms of getting information out of the model. Now, if I go to my model here in Bluebeam, and there's my build up, I can actually export that as, an, as a CSV file, which then looks like this. And I'm jumping again. But look, here is now my export of all my model information from my blue beam 3p 3d pdf and uh, we can see here uh, i can see my entry level one i've got my 42 meters squared i've got my 600 by 600 ceiling and i compare that to my navisworks qto module entry one ceiling got my uh, information about the ceiling type and i've got my uh, area Model perimeter, so that would be useful, say like if you were, it was a suspended ceiling and you want to measure the floating trim to the outside or whatever that detail might be. Uh, again, you've got that here in blue beam as well. All the different parameters are here. There's the perimeter. And you can turn those on and off in blue beam. You can actually, uh, by just controlling your columns here, manage columns, you can actually turn information on and off in the model. Obviously, providing it's there, you can select it. So there you go. That is just a very, very quick upshot of Bluebeam versus Navisworks. Now, I was just comparing it from the point of view of QSs and estimators who are looking to get into the information, sorry, get into the model, get quantities, get an idea of where particular things are built up and shown, and get an idea of how to produce uh, cost reports or estimates for construction.